So it is winter season and my Italian Greyhound, Koha, is very cold and so I want to make him some pajamas and his current pajamas are looking a little rough. I've got this nice navy, very soft fabric, I don't know how to call it. Uh, this may also be a good time to mention that I don't know how to sew, really. So we're just gonna see what happens. I looked at some videos on how to make some dog pajamas. Uh, I kind of know what shapes I need to make, but actually piecing it together, I don't know if it's gonna turn out rough or not. I want to make pajamas that are like this with like full legs or like half legs. I also want to give him like a really long kind of turtleneck that can be pulled up over his ears or like pushed down kind of chunky neckline. And for that chunky neckline I'm gonna use this cinnamon roll fabric. Um, so we'll see how it goes. Alright, so as I said before, I don't know how to sew and I've not sewn anything pretty much ever. Uh, so let's give it a try. Here is all that navy fabric. I'm just gonna put it down. In case you're wondering, I do have severe and crippling ADHD. So... <laughs> okay. Here's how it looks folded on top. So probably from here to here for the tail and then I will spread out. Let's see, so here for the legs. I know I need to try and use as the least amount of fabric as possible so that I have enough for like the chest and everything. So I'll cut here and here and here. Okay, so here is the back piece and these will be the legs. Oh, yeah, okay. So, it's a little on the bigger side. That's okay because I think I need to fold down the edges or something. And there's a lot of fabric dripping off. I'm flying away and I don't know what to do about that. But hopefully it'll be okay. Uh, so, next up I will do the chest part. So here you can kind of see it. So this is like the neck hole. And then here is kind of the stomach thing. So these will fold and I will like sew it on the inside. And then this is the leg hole. So it can wrap around like this. Um, I still am not sure what I'm going to do about the sleeves. I do not understand the physics behind the sleeves whatsoever. I don't know what I'm doing. But hopefully it'll just work out. So I'm going to try and cut out the sleeves though. Okay. So. I've cut what may end up being the sleeves, hopefully. If not, I do have some fabric left over. Uh, so hopefully this is a sleeve, maybe, and it'll wrap around 
somehow and connect somehow. Uh, I don't know. But I think I am ready to start sewing. So I'm going to set up my sewing machine and I'm going to start trying to connect, connect this. So I just stared at it for like 10 minutes and maybe I understand the physics behind it. Let's find out. So I have my sewing machine here and I know I'm supposed to sew things inside out first. So you sew it inside out and then you flip it around so that that kind of excess fabric goes on the inside. Uh, I guess I'm just gonna start sewing. So I just did the stomach piece and I tried to, what is it, like hem the edges? Um, not great. I think in some parts I have like the smallest edge ever and I think I even went off of it at times. Uh, so that's probably just going to come undone. <laughs> didn't record it but there were some technical difficulties my sewing machine is a very fickle friend and a very cruel god to me and um, I took a break to eat and the sunset so as far as where I'm at I have this front sleeves attached hopefully in the right way and I don't know maybe next I'll do either the chest piece or these back legs because I think these back legs will be easy so yeah okay just a small update but I have attached the hood kind of turtleneck thing and um, hopefully I didn't mess up by attaching it now the attachment is not great so I'm not going to show it up close because it's actually pretty terrible but hopefully it's okay and it still works I'll find out okay so about 20 minutes ago i said maybe everything was going okay that was categorically false and i am now having to compensate for that um so there ended up being like a hole in the armpit somehow and i think i have it fixed now though it is kind of very ugly and um, I forgot that I'm going to have to connect this little uh, neck piece to the chest part and which is here so I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that yet but I do know that is a problem for later me to figure out and I'm going to keep on going and connect the chest piece here and then hopefully I'll figure something out later as far as the neck neck turtleneck thing turtle turtleneck thingy goes um, and while we're at it another lesson learned very difficult to thread 
the little needle uvula thing whenever you have to go pee. Okay, that is all. I, I, mm. I think I'm finished. So, it looks kind of big, <laughs> but I think that's because all my extra cinnamon roll fabric I ended up having to add on to the chest part so the neck part isn't as small as I thought it would be and um, there are a few parts that are pretty rough but I'm ready to have him try it on and we'll see I'm gonna go get him Threads everywhere. So here it is on. Um, a little big, a little rough, but I don't know. Okay. What do you think? Uh, a little open there, but hopefully it'll keep him warm at least. Maybe I might cut this part off. Is it okay, Koha? He's not sure about it. <laughs> Maybe. But, I don't know, I think it turned out okay. Alright, so I guess that's it for now. Um, I think it turned out okay. Uh, it's functional, not beautiful, but maybe functional. I hope it doesn't fall apart on him. Uh, there's also a good chance that he's gonna pee like all over it because that's just how he is. Uh, so yeah. Alright, uh, subscribe. Uh, I'm gonna try and put out videos every week if you like this video then, I don't know, share it to someone who you think might also like it. Goodbye.